Now the next kind of loop that we're going to talk about uh, is probably one used most often in PHP. It's called a for each loop. And basically it's a, it's a special type of loop, similar to the for loop, similar to the while loop, but it's made specifically for iterating over arrays, which is a, a very common uh, function that you do in PHP, actually in all programming languages. Um, uh, so it's, it, and it basically is built into the uh, um, PHP itself. Basically what it does is um, the for each loop, you provide it, um, and we're going to see the syntax in a second, you basically provide the for each loop with an array that you want to iterate over. What it does is um, when that for each loop starts, it resets the array's cursor, which again is the, w the array cursor, the internal array pointer, is where um, whatever sort of the current element of the array is right now. We saw in our previous lessons on while loops how you could uh, move the array cursor by using the uh, next function or previous or using the reset function to set it back to the beginning. When you enter a for each loop, it automatically resets the cursor back to the first element. It calls the each function um, essentially on that on the array, which is going to pull out the key and value uh, for you if you need those. And then as the each function works, it actually increments the uh, array cursor one. It's going to go ahead and execute the statements in the for, loop, for each loop. And then because the, um, uh, the uh, array cursor has been executed, when it gets back to the beginning of the loop, it's going to pull out the key and value of the next item. It's going to advance the array cursor by one and repeat. Now, uh, as we know from the each function, eventually when the each gets each function gets to an array where the cursor is past the uh, last element, it returns false, and then that's how the loop uh, breaks out of the loop. As with the for loop and all of our other loops, continue and break statements work exactly the same. Um, and uh, for each loop actually comes in, in two syntaxes. Um, they both can be used for index arrays and associative arrays, but um, typically one is used for uh, iterating over indexed arrays, and so we're just going to kind of call it the indexed array syntax. And uh, likewise, there's one that's used typically for iterating over associative arrays, so we're going to call that uh, the associative array syntax.